<clears throat> okay. Yeah. The harder that you dig, uh, the deeper the cuts. Uh, Don't forget it. Uh, like I said, we're digging uh, deep. This year, we want to be much improved. On calves, we're pushing it. Only got 30 days, 30 days left. That's not even 30 workouts. That's like I don't know how many workouts, but that's 30 days to pre-judging, baby. Every day counts. Every every moment, every rep, every set, everything we do for the next 30, 31 days. It adds up. So, calves, triceps, biceps, abs today, everything we have to push it. Sounds like a uh, an easy day, but no days are easy. Every day we're pushing. Zero weak points. Everything has to get better. Every part of the body. Big parts, small parts. What are you talking about? No small parts. <laughs> you know, small parts. All big parts. Everything has to get bigger. Better. Love it. sets on this one.
After we do the last size of calves next, we're gonna start with triceps on the arms. Instead of doing biceps, we've been doing biceps regularly to start off our arm day. So let's switch it to triceps today. And um, I actually want to start off doing the Smith machine close grip. So like a, a heavier compound movement, it's gonna hit some of our chest too. So we're gonna get a little bit of a chest pump and then we'll isolate the triceps doing a couple more exercises and then move on to biceps, finish up with abs today. Do a few sets here. Ah, hey, ah, yeah, ah, yeah. All right, that's it for calves. Let's move on to triceps. Um, yeah, so what I was saying earlier is that I've been starting off the, the arm day with biceps for the last several weeks. So today I want to switch it up and start with the triceps. I think it's good to, to do that every couple of weeks where you you uh, start with the opposite one or whichever one you haven't been starting with. Just to keep good balance in the arms. Plus, it doesn't hurt that I'm gonna get a good little chest pump out of, out of this tricep day too. So, uh, yeah, and I haven't does I haven't done close grip in a minute. So. Done a little bit of Smith machine presses at the end of my chest days, but no close grip uh, tricep, you know, presses or anything like that. So start off with the triceps and uh, do a few exercises, several sets each, and then, like I said, do some biceps, hammer them, and. Uh, can't skip the abs, baby. Abs and calves, everybody wants to skip them, you know? <laughs> Nobody wants to skip arms, but everybody wants to skip them and calves. <laughs> Maybe not the abs, because, you know, the guys like to have the abs, but they're like, you know what, calves, eh. Question. Same. Should I keep the beard for the Olympia? You want my vote? Yeah. I think you should. Yeah, actually, Jelson said I should too. She said, no, you need to keep the beard and keep it lined up for the Olympia. Keep it lined for the Olympia. Yeah. Keep it. When I went up to Pittsburgh, that was a question they asked me, am I going to keep it? And I was like, well, normally I like to like be really clean cut, shaved. Yeah. Like I feel like it's professional, but like, I don't know. What do you think? I think. Comment below, everyone. Actually, yeah, comment below. Should I keep the beard for the Olympia or not? Because I haven't decided yet. Keep I've it. always shaved my face and I'm thinking about actually keeping the beard. So if you guys comment below, keep the beard, 
then uh, I might actually keep it for the Olympia. Hey, let's do that. Actually, uh, your vote, whether it's, you can either vote keep the beard or no beard. And we're gonna give away, come here, Bartley. We got the on a mission shirt here. We got the on a mission and we have the make history key. I'm gonna pick two winners and we're gonna send you uh, whichever one you want. You know, both winners could have the on a mission shirt. Both winners could have make, a his make, make history or you could do like whichever one you want, basically. We're gonna pick two winners and uh, all you gotta do is subscribe to the channel and vote below uh, beard, keep the, be keep the beard or no beard. And uh, like I said, make sure you're subscribed. If you wanna pick up the merch, it's at DerekLunsford.com, but we're gonna pick two winners for that. I just, Boom. it was a serious question because like Jelson said to keep the beard today. I like it. And it, they asked me, like I said the other day when I went to Pittsburgh, if I was gonna keep it. And I was like, probably not, I'll probably shave it. But if you say it and- I'm a little, I'm a little far. Hey, we, got, we, we got another keep vote. The beard. Keep the beard? Yeah, that's a championship beard. All right, but you're not entered into this giveaway though. <laughs> Enter the giveaway. Oh, that's easy. I'm gonna buy one anyway. Do you subscribe already? Come on, like, subscribe, every video. Hey, yeah, that's right, subscribe. <laughs> Ding. I'll be, I'll be the angel on your shoulder. It's, it's, this is the best I've seen you, man. And I'm just looking from afar too, so it's gonna be special. That means a lot, bro. Thank you. I'm gonna have my Derek Lundberg shirt on. I'm gonna have the sign like this. Ready, bro? I'm gonna scream like a girl. I think I need one more before the punk cover comes off. One more? I think I need one more. So, and well, then I gotta put these, these tough wraps, elbow sleeves on here in a minute anyway. <laughs> so, so that's gonna have to come off. I was thinking, I'm like, am I ready? Nah, I'm good. I feel pretty good right now. <laughs> we'll do one more set with the punk cover. Then I have to take it off because I got to put these on. His life was over the sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> it might work. No, it'll probably work. It's just like on the top sets, if I don't use these, it, it hurts my joints. Yeah. When I use these, it does not affect my joints at all. But the weight, it's not like, you know, like sometimes you do like lift, like you put on lifting gear and it takes the weight away from yeah. you. And it's like, is it helping the joint or is it just taking the weight off? Mm -hmm. This doesn't take the weight off. It just helps the joints. Thirty days. <laughs> That's crazy, man. It's coming up so fast. Embrace every single moment. I pray to God every day that I am joyful and present in every moment. 
Easier said than done. But uh, these opportunities rarely come and they don't last a lifetime. So you have to take every opportunity as if it's your last. And uh, though I feel that this is still just the beginning of a uh, very fruitful, very long career uh, where I will continue to progress every year, every show. Um, but you just never know. You can't take life for granted. You can't take your opportunities for granted. And every day is an opportunity. So this set right here is my opportunity to get better. 30 days out. Good working sets here, bro. Couple good working sets here. Come on. Up, 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 up. Yeah. Up, up, up.
Yeah. Mm -hmm. I got it. Come okay, on. help me here. Come yeah. Come on. Okay. Come on. Ah. One more. Ah. Oh, man. Mm. Visualize. Better visualize it. Oh. Just grateful, man. Grateful that we get to do what we love every day. Me and you, you know? Yes, sir. We're so blessed, man. We gotta thank God every day. I thank God for my my life. Thank God for my, my wife, my family, our baby on the way. We had another baby doctor appointment today that went great, nice. which is why we're in here a lot later today. <laughs> um, praise God for a healthy baby, healthy mama. She's doing great. Both both the girls are doing great. Thank God for you, brother. Uh, thank God for Bartley. Thank God for you know, just everybody, man, that has been good to us. And, 
it's good in our life and oh god is good man all that is good comes from god that's the thing and when he blesses us it's a blessing from him it's not something that we earned or we deserve we work yes there's work to be done he gives us wisdom to know that there's that i have to get my butt in the gym if i ever want to be mr olympia but if i ever become mr olympia it's not because i earned it yeah i might have put work in to to build the physique but it's a blessing from him and the thing is is if we don't get what we want it's not because god doesn't want to bless us it's because he's protecting us from something that we can't see you know so it's like god i i wanted this you didn't give it to me or well like no it's not because he didn't want to bless you he's he just understands the best you know path for your life and just because God's plan doesn't line up with your plan doesn't mean he's not a good God. That's the thing. God created us for a purpose and a calling. I've said it so many times. We all have a calling, we all have a purpose. And just because, well, look at this, man. I would have loved to have been, if I could pick anything, I would have an amazing voice and be a singer or an actor or something like that. Or I would have the brains of a, of a great businessman or something like that you know but the thing is i was blessed with what i was blessed with which was my calling a purpose for my life and i've said it before there's going to be other olympians that follow in my footsteps just like i follow it in the footsteps of the people that came before me <clears throat> but um we all have to look within ourselves don't try to search too hard it's really right in front of your face if you just you just open your eyes and see it that your calling and your purpose is right there it's usually what you're good at and what you what you love to do and what you're passionate about something around that is going to be what you're called to do I would I would like to think and your purpose comes behind your calling which is greater than yourself your purpose is greater than yourself yourself like the selfish reasons I have selfish reasons of why I want to be Mr. Irwin. Are those bad? No, it's okay. God doesn't say don't have selfish desire, but don't let it consume you to the point where like it overtakes God's greater purpose. And so that's, that's just something that I've come to realize is that, you know, there, there's been times where I didn't get what I wanted and I was disappointed, but he was protecting me. And, um, and then there's been times where I, he's blessed me beyond what I could ever imagine. Like, I was like, God, if I could have asked you for something, it would, it would have been half of this. It would have been a fraction of what you blessed me with. But it's not, it's not just about like, uh, you know, accomplishments or materials. It's the true joy and fulfillment in our lives are the people. It's the people in our life, whether it be your family, your friends, your loved ones, the people that you work with, all the people that are in your life, the people you come across on a daily or weekly basis, people at your church, those, like, those people are what truly matter and give you fulfillment in life. So, man, we are so blessed and we have to stay grateful. Okay, and that's it for triceps.
the shit by some. Love it. Love it. You know what excites me, motivates me, and inspires me? It's that. It's not just what, but who. You know what, man? Ronnie Coleman. You know why? Because when I think about him and his prime, he looked crazy, right? Obviously. He arguably is the greatest bodybuilder of all time. But his attitude was unbelievable. It was spectacular. I mean, you just felt how much he loved bodybuilding. He would say it. He'd be like, people ask, why do you do this? It's because I love it, man. And I don't know, man. I just, I feel the same way, truthfully. Like, I just love it. And when you love something, man, and you're passionate about it, sometimes you can't even explain why, you just do. And um, whenever I'm in here and I, and I wanna uh, in, get in my head and think about complaining or something like, man, today's a rough day. I literally think about Ronnie Coleman, I'm like, I love this. And so do you. So shut up, st grab some weights, start pumping. Let's go. One rep, one set, one workout at a time. And uh, yeah, never actually said that before, but yeah, I, 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 uh, I draw a lot of motivation and inspiration from Ronnie Coleman, that's for sure. Cuz you love it. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Nah, I'm gonna leave that to him. That's his. <laughs> yeah, dude. You gotta want it. <laughs> you gotta want it. Low food, don't matter. We in here getting it. Oh yeah. Do you know why? Because you love it. We're just searching for that pump. <laughs> we're chasing it. It's trying to get away, but we're not gonna let it. We're gonna get that pump every day. 
Almost done, bro. Not much left today. A little bit more on the biceps. We got a little bit of abs. Not much left. You gotta empty the tank every day. Come in on E and empty. The harder that you dig, the deeper the cuts. Don't forget it. Like I said, we're digging deep. This year, we wanna be much improved. Every time I step on stage, I want to be better. Let's go. Dig deep. Deep, baby. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Get sliced and diced. Call us the pump chasers. <laughs> Chasing them down. Pump chaser, baby. Chasing the pump. All right, one more here. One more set here. And then uh, I want to do another, another curl. Come on, lights out. Oh. Come on, what you do? Come on, baby, burn it, squeeze it. That's it there.
One more here that felt really good. Ah, so two a little bit wider and then two a little bit closer. That's it, calves, triceps, biceps. Don't skip the abs, let's go do some abs. You know what I wanna hear more than and new? What's that? Well done, my good and faithful servant. You know, people, uh, <laughs> this might sound silly, but people talk about the goat, the greatest of all time, the goat. <laughs> Look, I, I haven't even won uh, an open Mr. Olympia title, so I am not putting myself in that boat. But hear me out here. I would much rather be a sheep to the almighty shepherd, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Amen. than a goat. I know that sounds silly to a lot of people, but if you're uh, if you got Christ in you, you know what I'm talking about. I'd rather be a sheep to the almighty shepherd than a goat to the world. And if you don't know much about sheep and you don't know much about goats, you probably don't want to be a goat. People always say, don't be a sheep, don't be a follower. Don't follow the wrong people. Don't follow the world, follow him. So, in addition to, and new, I want to hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. I'm gonna do one more here, but I'm actually gonna do a back off set. That was pretty heavy actually, so I'm gonna um, back the weight down a little bit. Maybe slow down the reps and like just squeeze a little bit more. Uh, I still wanna do a, a fair amount of weight. I don't wanna like be able to get an easy 15 or 20. I wanna get like a hard 12. And if I can get 15, great, but like I really wanna try to keep it around 12. <clears throat> oh, literally, literally exactly what I wanted. Whoa, around that six to eight, I realized, yeah, it's gonna be hard. 
around 10 to 12. So I got to 11, 12 reps, and then I, I did like three partials, basically two or three partials. So I hit that 10 to 12 rep range with slow controlled, but like hard squeezing. And, and then once I got there, I could have stopped, but I was like, no, I wanna, I wanna get a few more partials and really burn out the abs because that's the last set. So I guess I did 12 to 15, perfect. It was exactly what I wanted. Do a um, couple leg raises uh, with body weight and that's it for today. We've been here for a little over two hours already. So that's that's way longer than I than you probably should be. Um, but I mean, we hit four different, four different body parts. <laughs> I, I, every time that I come in and train arms, if I just train biceps and triceps, it'll probably last me about an hour and a half. So then I add calves onto it. That's another about half hour. Um, so right there, that's two hours. I checked the time. I literally calves, triceps, abs was right at two hours and then whatever abs I have left, um, which should probably be about 15 to 20 minutes. <clears throat> so probably about two hours, 20 minute workout. And um, like I said, that's, that's, that's way longer than I think, you know, you shouldn't be here every day for over two hours. Probably like an hour, 15, hour and a half is plenty uh, on most days. Unless it's like a big leg day or like a day like today. Oh man, that's it. Wow. Pretty tired. <laughs> that's why I said it sounds like an easy day. Calves, triceps, biceps, abs, all small body parts. But when you're in here for <laughs> nearly two and a half hours. It's not easy. And let's be honest, man. I mean, we're about ready to go. Whenever I say we're about ready to go, I mean, we're very close to being right. We're right where we want to be and uh, very excited with with uh, with the current look. But I'm very excited for what these next 30 days is going to bring. These last few weeks is when it really gets gets good. Um, conditioning is is essentially like there and all you do is just keep improving keep improving keep improving and to me that's just it's that's the coolest part is that when your body changes so rapidly it doesn't get any easier but it's it's um it's exciting you know you start counting the days down you know so you know what we should do but, we should uh, we should do a video at your house talking about where's your mindset right now, being so close to Olympia. Okay, so I know we're gonna we're gonna film the next leg day. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think a good idea would be yeah, let's let's just um because I feel like right now you can't talk much during the workout. Yeah. Because all your energy is spent on the workout, so let's plan a day. Okay. To talk with you, kind of more about where your mindset is and how you're feeling and. And also, like just other things that are going on in your life right now. I like that. Kind of go more in depth with with this, yeah. better than than this. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, good idea, man. Let's do that. And don't forget, comment below. Beard, keep keep the beard, or no beard. That's your vote and the chance to enter into the the giveaway for the the new merch items. We'll pick two winners. Yeah, so it's fun. Just a nice little giveaway, and uh, I'll get some feedback from you guys whether I should keep the beard or not. And that's going to be for the Olympia, so it'd be the first time that I didn't shave ever if I keep the beard. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think, and uh, you guys will will push will help push me one way or the other. 
to keep it or not keep it. And um, also shout out to the Mr. Olympia. Saturday night is sold out. You can still get the pay-per-view for Saturday night, but Friday you can still get tickets. Of course, tickets to the expo too. Um, and if you guys come to the Olympia, please come to the Olympia meet and greet on Thursday. Also the press conference. And even on Sunday, if you guys are still around after the Olympia, there's gonna be a seminar for all the champions. Um, and even you know, even the years that I didn't win, I still would go to the Sunday seminar. So count me being at the Sunday seminar regardless. So uh, I hope to see you guys all at the Olympia. Be on the lookout for content from when Hani and I went up to Pittsburgh just a few days ago. You guys can check out NPC News online uh, and make sure you follow NPC News online official page on Instagram as well as IFBB Pro League because I'm sure they're going to be posting the content there as which is going to be on their YouTube channel as well. So um, went up there with Hani, trained at Mannion's Gym at the NPC IFBB Pro League headquarters this week. Uh, did an interview with J.M. Mannion. Shout out to J.M. Mannion. Uh, I want to thank Jim Mannion, Tyler Mannion, and everybody else that came out and um, allowed us to be there. But uh, we even did a little posing too. So be on the lookout for all that content coming. It's going to be on the NPC News official page on YouTube. Really appreciate you guys' support. Once again, subscribe to the channel, comment below, share this video. And until next time, guys, cold cod and yams. <laughs> so good. Yep. It's weird. I've been eating everything cold now. Yeah. I just don't microwave anything really. You don't heat it up? No. Isn't that gross? I'm so deep into this, man. I could care less. It just doesn't matter. I literally told Jolson today, I think it was, I could probably eat Nala's turd if I, if, <laughs> if I had to. <laughs> I know it sounds silly, but...